Ah, what are you doing here? I had to jinx myself. I had to say some shit about pillagers, didn't I? Hey guys, it's Wolf of Valhalla Gaming and we're back in Minecraft. Yes, the hardcore one. The one where if I die, everything goes away. Including our awful guard dogs. And our good dog. And our somewhat done crafting room? Enchanting room? Whatever. But it's day 45. And we're gonna take a nap. And wake up on a beautiful day 46. What is in my inventory? Is that wool? That is wool. Why did I have wool in my inventory? I don't know what I was doing. Oh, I was laying out the city. Or what will eventually be where the villagers live. Okay, that's a thing. Today, though, I want to spend a little bit of time mining. Not much. Maybe one day. And then we're going to go to the nether. I'm going to send it. We're going to die. Probably. So let's get a little bit of iron. Enough for a pickaxe or two. Dang it. We'll just take all of it. I don't care. And, oh, we have more iron smelting. And smooth stone smelting. Perfect. Um, where's my crafty tape? There it is. It's, nope. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's put the iron back. You go right here. I still have a perfectly good bow, just not enough arrows. Speaking of which, I should probably store some of these shenanigans. Is that? No. Okay. What's in here? Do I have bones in here? No. There's going to be bones in here now. Put the gold in here. I like my little storage for my stuff. And the dirt can go in here. And so can the cobble. And we're out of room to put cobble in. Oh no. Let's make another chest or three. We're going to do that. One and two. There we go. Another storage chest or two. That one's still open. And now this one's open. Okay. We're going to go mining for just a little bit. Try and get some more diamonds. Maybe expand the mine forward. Not my shears. Put the shears back. Alright. Let's hop through there. Get to the mines. And do that thing that we're going to do. I forget. Is control my sprint? It's not shift. Is it all? I don't remember what my sprint was. Oh well. I guess we're going to find out. I really need to fix this roof of this cave. Not being able to run full sprint down here is kind of annoying. Alright, so what? We've expanded pretty far forward. But not far enough, I feel like. We've got all this area right here. So we're going to push forward just a little bit more. Probably go one... Ooh, iron. Ooh, more iron. Is, is there more? Ooh! Well, that's a nice find. Don't mind if I do. We're just going to open the cave up and see what's right there. Because I really like when I find diamonds for free. I wonder how many is over here. This is enough to finish off our armor, probably. See, at least three. And some redstone. Well, that's a good start to the day. Maybe we won't die today. Especially going into the nether. Though I am going to wear some golden boots, though. Just because. Uh, hoglins are very mean if you do not have gold on. So we're going to wear gold. But we'll have enough diamonds here to fully replace our iron armor, finally. Let's just open this area up. Do I have torches on me? I don't. That brings a dilemma to hand, doesn't it? We don't like not having torches, because that's how things spawn and shoot us in the back. We don't want that at all. No like getting shot in the back. It's not fun. And lapis lazuli. More lapis lazuli. And more lapis. And more. 
and more. Oh, that's all of it. Okay, let's see how much diamond is actually here. Oh, there's four. Ooh, five. I'll take five. Six. More. No, damn it. Oh, well. That's a good start. Uh, we really don't need anything else from down here, then, do we? I'm gonna grab this iron and we can go straight into the nether. And time works a little bit differently in the nether, so, yeah. Hopefully we don't get too sidetracked down there. Oop. That's not how I wanted you to be. Alright, away we go. That was a good find. Some of these tunnels are way too dark. I don't trust them. Really? So some respect. Oh. Well, I got the torch back. There. Back to how it should be. How did he even get down there? There's lava, a light, and a light. Now I'm going to have to watch all these tunnels as I walk by, just in case. Okay, too many things. Okay, so that definitely is my sprint. I have a diamond axe. It's my weapon of choice for the shenanigans that will unfold. You know what I haven't seen in a while is pillagers. What was that noise? Is that the enderman that's still trapped around here somewhere? Freaking me out last episode. What's over there? That's a wolf in the water. What about over there? Nothing. Except our ender portal we're going to go open soon. Or not ender. Nether. That thing. Let's see. We've got some more iron here to smell. we got some more iron for us. Put it over here. Do -do -do -do. Way too much iron. And some diamonds. And some more redstone. Okay. We're gonna make a new crafting table to take with us to the nether. Just in case. I uh, don't need the wool while we're in the nether. We'll need the obsidian. Bring some cobble with us just in case. Weapons look good. We'll need flint and steel to light it. And golden boots. So yes, let's make the golden boots. We now have golden boots. And I threw my axe. That's useful. Well, it is time. Our original set of armor has been fully retired. And we're going to make diamond boots to come back to. Because we all want full diamond armor, don't we? Yes, we do. So that is for later. We're going to put them in our drawer right here, and we will be back for them. But first, we have a trip to the nether. I'm not going to play with obsidian in my hand, because knowing my luck, I'm going to set it down and then spend ten minutes mining it. The nether is not a fun place to go to, so I will say my goodbyes to all of my animals. Goodbye, sheep, in case I don't come back. Goodbye, cows. You were spared a very knowledgeable death as you would be turned into books goodbye pig if i don't make it i'm sorry that i never found you a friend there's too many of you goodbye black sheep i know what it's like to be the black sheep of the family and away we go to the nether do 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 do, do. this place is nice and lit up this yay cleared the Let's go start our new area. There's a pig right there. I could have just lured him in. I need carrots. Where do I find carrots at? I don't know where to find carrots at. But this is going... Oh, there's bees over here too. I forgot about that. Be a bee keeper. Alright. Um, I don't like lava. So we're going to do a little work here little worky work and we're gonna block off the lava on this side and right here that way I don't accidentally fall into it and we're gonna keep doing that because 
I don't want to fall into the lava. I don't care if it's under that. I can't fall into that. Can't really fall into that. Okay. We're somewhat safe. Give me my diamond pick. And we're going to steal this block of obsidian. Ten minutes later, we have our obsidian. Maybe. Break. 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 Thank you. Cool. Now we take our obsidian, and what is it? One, two, three... Sure. Pretty sure that's it. I don't know if it's going to let me light it with that piece in there, though. Is it? Nope. Okay. Well, first things first, we need another set of stairs or something right here. So we're going to take these. Are there any more stairs? I only need the one. Screw it. Give me that. You bastard. Okay, so we're going to do this, and then mine this. And then put normal cobblestone right here, because it's being stupid. And we can just jump up to it. That's fine. But it's starting to get dark, so we need to mine the weeping obsidian. I wonder why they came out with the weeping obsidian. I know what it's used for, but it's... Just, just such a strange item. We need to hurry. It is starting to get dork. Okay. We now have the nether portal. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Make sure we're wearing our diamond boots. We are. Did we come out in a basalt biome? What is this? It is basalt. So that's an interesting spawn point. What is that noise? I don't like that noise. I like basalt though. It's a very interesting looking. Make good roadways out of it actually. Oh, there's so much lava here. I don't like it. Oh, no, 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 no. Nope. We're going to make a bridge over here. Get rid of that lava. Because we don't like the lava. Okay. Um, I can't really see much of any... What is that noise? What is that? That blackstone? That is blackstone. Um, yeah, I don't like that at all. Not one bit. Not going that way. No, thank you. We're just going to go this way. Probably make another highway since we spawned high up in the nether. Something for later on. Is basalt easy to break by hand? No, so you do need a pickaxe. Okay. It has a weird noise to it whenever you're working on it. Oh, that sounds like dirt. Oh well, we'll have enough to start on our roads maybe? I like it. Kind of, oh, no! Ow. 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 Well then. See why I didn't want to come to the nether, kids? This is why. It's no fun. All you do is get burned. Ah. I see. Well, you can always get some free magma cubes. I hear gas. I don't really want to deal with them either. Some netherrack. Netherrack's always fun. It's easy to break. Nope. Nope. I don't like this spawn at all. Of all the nether spawns I could have gotten, I got this one. And I don't think it really mattered where I would have gone. There's not really a way for me to get down, is there? What happens if I go this way? Something more interesting over here? Or is it just more death? Lots and lots of death. 
All right, so let's do this. We're going to go to our video settings. We're going to upgrade our view distance. And where is... Hmm. Does that get rid of... That did not get rid of what I was trying to get rid of. Trying to get rid of the fog. There used to be a way to do it. Video. All. Hmm. Don't know how to get rid of the fog. Oh, well, I guess there's not really a way for me to see what's over there. Or what's beneath me, other than death. I guess the only real way for me to travel is going to be to make a highway then, isn't it? I don't really have enough obsidian on me to make another highway either. Looks like more basalt over there. Probably more over there. Definitely some over there. That's the nearest is over there. And there's also magma cubes and some other shenanigans that I really don't want to deal with over there. I also hear a ghast kind of wisping around and I don't like it. Not one bit. Oh, wait. Maybe there is a way over there. And I'm just got to be real careful not to die. No, no, no. I heard you. I hate hearing those things. This is bad. I don't like being down here at all. Let's get some blackstone, though. Oh. No, give me the blackstone back. I like blackstone. Maybe we'll incorporate some blackstone into the hobbit hole. That'll be nice, won't it? Magma cubes. Fire resistance probably would have been a good idea if I was coming here. So many magma cubes. But there is ways across. From the looks of it, I can still get across. Just not going to be very fun. Why is there so much death everywhere I look? No, don't you... Good job. What day are we on? We're on day 46 still. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. I just have to remember which direction I came from. Oh, look, there's an arrow pointing in the direction I came from. How useful. Tell me, why does it sound like there's a... What are those rad meters? Like, from Fallout? It sounds like there's a rad meter in my ear. Oh, there's so many magma cubes. I don't like this. No, you stay down. What's down there? This is probably, like, the worst spawn I could have gotten for a frickin' nether. Nothing but lava. Not even any good glowstone, like, sources nearby. Straight lava. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. No. Oh, there's a ghast. I don't like that. I don't like him. I don't like his entire species. Not trying to be rude or anything, but he can die and I would not care. Is there anything around me other than death? No, there is not. There is death in every direction I look. This place is actually hell and I'm leaving. I got nothing out of coming here except breaking a pickaxe. And that rad meter noise that makes me think I'm back in Fallout. 
Uh, no, I hear that noise. Oh, another magma cube. That's a shame. Ah, there's big ones down there. I don't want to deal with them either. Okay, so I gotta just parkour my way over this way. Not kill myself on my own masochism and run away. Oh, boy. Ow. Ow. Well, that wasn't so bad getting back, I guess. Okay, so we know that way's a no. There's nothing in the distance. We know going back this way. No! Why are you here? Get back! I said no! This is supposed to- Ow! Dick! Uncalled for. You know what? You're at least gonna give me a freaking magma cream for all this. Stay down there. Oh my gods. Stay down there. Did that one drop a magma cream? I couldn't tell. No, 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 no. There's lava there. Heh <laughs> heh, can't touch me. Na 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 boo boo. No magma cubes, huh? Just a very near death experience with that lava. Magma cube? Any oh, magma cream! Yay! Did get magma cream out of that. Kind of useful. Other than that, all I've gotten out of this area is basalt. So much basalt. I'm going to build everything out of basalt now. That is my new primary building material, because that's all this frickin' nether has to offer me. I wanted to use quartz, but no. The game gods have decided to give me this. Hell. Actual hell. You stay over there. I forgot you're immune to fire. Stay. 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 Good. Now that we've come to an understanding. Um, let's see if I can get up over here, maybe. I'm pushing my luck by staying this long. I know I am. But maybe I can find something useful. Can I get basalt, maybe? I'll use basalt as a building block in here because it's just too easy to get. Anything over there? No? Death? Yes. Anything over here? Death? Yes. Just basalt. Basalt in every direction I look. No piglins. No nothing. Just death. I don't like that at all. But I guess we can start on the nether highway a little bit since we're in such a shitty area. Just start building our way up. And then we can break this nether portal and reconnect it to the one down there once we get our new one set up. We're just gonna set up a nice little... Nice little nether highway. That way we can start exploring away from our little house as well. There we go. Made it to our nether highway now. Kind of. Still need to go up about four more blocks until I feel comfortable being up here. More blackstone. Interesting. Very interesting. There's a lot of blackstone right here. I like that. Alright, let's clear out a room for our nether hub, I guess, is what this is going to be. Do about one more up. There we go. 
For this one, we're just going to start clearing out our nether hub. More basalt above me. That's never a good sign. Ah! No! 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 Bastard. See why mining up's never a good idea, kids? Is there another basalt, like, area above me, or is that just something that happens in the roof here? Okay, regardless. Just start clearing this area out a little bit. Hopefully no more lava decides to fall on us. Maybe. We're lucky. One, two, three. I'd like to do a five by five. I'm also going to have to get... Ooh, quartz. I like quartz. And we're going to start using our diamond pick now. I refuse to mine straight down, especially in this hellscape. Mine at an angle. Yay, quartz. At least I got some of that. Okay, so what now? It's one, two, three, four, five. Cool. Bye. It needs to be five. So one more on this side. Ah, yes. Perfect. Source of light. And then we can just put our nether portal up here, nice and safe. And we can just build our highway out in any direction we want to go now. All we have to do is break our portal and steal all of its obsidian. Because I brought my flint and steel with me. This is going to take forever, so I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Alright, we're back. We have our nether hub kind of set up. No, you stay away. Bad lava. I just want all this quartz in here first, though. So we're going to get rid of this lava. And we're going to steal some quartz. Oh no, there's a hole above me. Please don't let there be lava in it. I thought 108 would be a good the height to build that. I guess I was wrong. There's still a lot of stuff above me. What's up here? Is there going to be lava? Am I going to die here? Probably. I hear lava. I'm also using my diamond pickaxe, which is something I don't really want to do too much. Not until I can get mending on it. Oh, I found the bedrock. So, I'm not too far from bedrock up here. It's like the perfect height for another highway, I guess, is close to bedrock on the ceiling. But it is day 47, so we're going to return and stop by the surface world. And it's nighttime. Wait, I generated a new portal on the other side of my... I hate Minecraft. Okay. Well, we're gonna run, 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 run. There's a lot of things out here that want to eat me. I don't want to be eaten today. No, thank you. Run away. Inside we go to store our new treasures. And we have a lot of basalt. I wonder, can you cook basalt? Can you make anything out of basalt? My armor scared me. I thought it was a skeleton. We're not going to talk about that ever again. You can make stuff out of basalt. You can make polished blackstone. Oh, that is blackstone. Basalt. All you can make is polished basalt. But what if we make a piece of polished basalt? Can you make anything out of that? No. But there is enough basalt here to make a lot of polished basalt. And we're going to use polished basalt to build some stuff. Because it has this nice look to it. It looks like a petrified tree trunk, actually. I kind of like it. It'll give it a nice vibe later on. So we're going to use that for some stuff. Uh, we have blackstone as well. All of this can go up here. 
Um, I carried all my gold with me. I didn't really need all that stuff. Another rack, all of that can go in there. I'm gonna keep that spruce with me. Uh, another quartz. What is that good for? Is that just build quartz blocks? It does. Hmm. Block of quartz. I think that's all it's really good for. Yep. Okay, so we're just gonna put that quartz in our I love me drawer over here. Along with our gold. Um, we're gonna grab those diamond boots and put them on. Just can't remember to trade them off. And I think that's pretty much all we got from over there. I'm gonna put the rest of this polished, not polished, whatever this is. Yeah, polished basalt up, polished basalt up. Get our stake, our axes, because we need to go cut some trees down really soon. Um, do I have any of this stuff over here? I don't, so that stuff needs to go all over here. Still have my chainmail boots too. Probably build a museum eventually, but we're gonna take a nap right now. <clears throat> and we're gonna do something we haven't done in a while. Other than the fact that it's raining. Oh, it's not raining anymore. Cool. Which means I can probably sneak into my area without something trying to shoot me. Yes, I can. Cool. There were creepers up there. Not sure what happened to them. But we're on day 48 now. Yay! We've made it kind of far. Hello, senior cows. Today is the day. I will feed you, and then I will harvest. And we shall make books. So we're just going to put all this stuff up here. And we're going to harvest our... Uh, our crops aren't really ready just yet. Those llamas freak me out every time I see them. We are going to cut some trees down, though. So... As the things in Minecraft go, does not matter what level you are, you will find yourself cutting down trees. I'm going to cut down these big trees. I need to start planting my spruce trees, too, I guess. So I can harvest them. Since my wood types keep changing now. I wonder if I repurposed all of the wood in the hobbit hole and just replaced it with basalt, how long that would take me. Oh, there's so much wood in there. That would take forever. That would take a really long time to do. I don't even want to think about it. Yet here I am, thinking about it. I do need y'all's help, though. If you've made it this far, what should we name our town? Leave it in the comments below. Eventually there will be houses here for villagers. And it will be a nice, pretty place. It will not be a hellscape, I promise. They will be treated with respect and dignity. They will not be kept in their little houses and used only for trading, like some people do. They will be able to walk freely in a safe environment. I am a benevolent king. Will be a benevolent king. Can you call yourself a king if you have no subjects? I have a kingdom. Just no one in it. Kind of like a sovereign state. I'm just kind of here doing my own thing. Eventually someone will come around and be like, I want to be here. Yay. Oop, there's another big sapling. Cool. There's another one. There's another one. Eventually I'll have enough saplings to grow more than two of these trees at a time. Unless it only drops enough to grow one from every one of the trees that breaks. I don't know. Ooh, an apple. Tasty Trito. Oh, I see another one. That tree already grew. Damn it! You can't do this to me. You were supposed to wait a little bit for a little bit. A little bit? My English isn't working either. They were supposed to wait a little bit before it grew. That's not part of the plan. The bright side, we're going to have plenty of wood. But I am eventually going to need a jungle biome and get some jungle trees. 
Ooh, if I did jungle trees in each corner, could build like tree houses around them too, couldn't I? That'd be interesting. I have almost two stacks of wood just from these trees. Oh, I definitely have more than two stacks of wood now from that tree. Now we just have to wait for the trees to fall. Ah, no, wait. Can't have that one growing on me. Just put his sapling over there for now. There's a sapling right here. I need you to disappear so I can get the sapling. There's another sapling over there. Okay. So we only need one, two, three, four, five, six more saplings. Four more sap. Three more? Three more saplings. Three more saplings for three full. Two more saplings for three full trees. One more sapling? Can I get one more sapling? Was that the right? No? What was that? That was a stick. Didn't want a stick. I want a sapling. Oh, there's a sapling right there. Gib. Give me the sapling. And there's another one right there. Yay, we can finally grow three of the big dark oaks at the same time. Maybe can even get more eventually. With time. With time. Because there's three, so that's enough for those. And it looks like there might be... There's still that one right there. I am going to have to cut all this grass, too. Get rid of all these flowers. Start setting stuff up for my villagers to come. In which case, I will have to go kidnap them. I mean, relocate them peacefully from their village. It's okay. It's quaint here. They'll love it. I promise. No villagers will be harmed in the making of these videos. Maybe. I don't know. Depends how well they cooperate. Three, four. Which means we almost have enough for another group of trees. Gotta break all the grass, though. Break all the grass. Break all the grass. The grass must be broken. Probably be easier just to do that with a water bucket while I waited. Well, we're halfway through to another tree as well. That's useful. I need to come plant my spruces out here soon, too, though. Especially now that this place is mostly lit up and nothing can spawn here. And then we can do, like, a little fishing hut over here, maybe, with our pond, lake. We'll put a lake right here, a little built-in pond, maybe connected out there. Something like that. It'll be nice. There's still this one right here. There's Gib. There we go. So what, if I did one, two, three, I only need one more. One more sapling and we can have four. Ah! What are you doing here? I had to jinx myself. I had to say some shit about pillagers, didn't I? This isn't a village yet. Leave. Be gone, you heathens. I'm just harvesting trees. Hey, what do you know? There we go. Ugh. Okay. I guess this is going to have to be a thing, isn't it? Uh, one, two, three, four, five of them. That's not so bad. We've dealt with worse, haven't we, guys? We dealt with those two enchanted mobs in the very beginning where I almost died. There we go. Hello, gentlemen. Have you come to look at my property? Oh, you have enchanted crossbows? This is some bullshit. Arr. Ow. Ow. Stop it. Ow. 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 How are you still hitting me? Yes, hurt each other. Alright, two left. Can I eat first? Let's get my health back. Yes, your cousin's banner hangs above my bed while I sleep. Yours will join him soon. 
Yes. Come here. No. Be gone. Voluntary exile. You know what that means, guys. I'm not going to that village to get my villagers anytime soon. I don't even know how long that effect stays on you, to be honest. Nope, that's the wrong button. What? Is it still only day 48? So I've made it 48 days in this game, and that's the first second time I've run into pillagers. And it's the first time I've gotten voluntary exile. How dare you come through my portal? Are you friendly? I'm not wearing gold. Wait, how did they... So I traveled far enough in the end to clearly set off another end portal. But how did this guy get through this portal if I broke the other one? Are you going to hit me? No? No? Are you lost? Do you want to go home? Sorry, bud. You're a part of this world now. It's okay. It's a great world. You'll have fun. There's a village being built over there. Really nice guys leading it. You're going to enjoy time here, I promise. I feel kind of bad. He's lost from home now. It's okay. We're going to give him a new home. You're going to be... Oh, it's getting dark. Well... It's okay. We have a new home for you. Don't worry. We're gonna take him home with us. And his name will be... Fred. We have our first villager. And his name is Fred. I'm definitely gonna get caught out here by something that's gonna want to eat me. And I don't want to do that. So uh, I'm going to leave Fred under this tree where he's nice and safe. And I forgot how to get out of boats. I have to crouch, I think. Yes. Okay. I'm going to leave Fred right there where he's going to be nice and safe. And oh, there's already things spawning. Not okay. Not okay. Not okay. Not okay. Get to the safe area. Get to the safe area. Hello, senior piggy. No, 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 no. Haha. Na, 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 boo, boo. Can I kill y'all on these plants? Are y'all gonna be stupid and run into my plants? Come on. Tasty human treat. Yes. Yes, push each other in. Push each other. They have betrayed themselves. Oh, he's got a full set of armor. Interesting. Yes. Feast upon you, Sevens. You have betrayed by your own kind. He's carrying his friend's meat. He picked up the rotten meat. Well, thank you. That was a pretty fun thing to watch, if I do say so myself. That'd actually be a pretty easy mob grinder, now that I think about it. Instead of having him fall on heights, just have him fall on these bushes. Hmm. Maybe days 100 through 200, I'll build that. But for now time to go inside. And we sleep. Unlocked the advancement. Voluntary exile. Alright. We're back. It's not raining anymore. Uh, I think that armored guy is still going to be there, though. The armor keeps him from burning because he has something over his head. Which means we are going to have to deal with some of them. Probably not too many of them though And as long as I don't see a creeper I really don't care Hello, senor It's a nice set of pants you have there Prince called He wants his purple pants back 
Dang it. No purple pants. Alright, let's go get Fred. Oh, there's a creeper. Hello, senor. I'd like to talk to you about my lord and savior, Cthulhu. No time for Cthulhu. No time for you. Let's go. It is a spidey boy. Ow. There's an archer. He's in the water. Ha ha ha. Now I need to eat first. Ow. Uncalled for, my guy. Uncalled for. There we go. Cool. And there's Fred, waiting peacefully. It's okay, Fred. We're gonna get you home. You're our new friend. Ohana. Ohana means family. Family means nobody gets left in a boat. We're just gonna take him this way. There's another tree in the way. I hit the wrong button again. A shift. We're just gonna cut all the trees down that are in our way. Most of the tree. I'm not cutting that entire thing down. Let's go. Is that a creeper in the water? That's a drown with an enchanted fishing rod. Interesting. Is he going to use that fishing rod to hit me? Hello. I notice you don't have a trident, which is one of my goals for this playthrough. Are they peaceful during the day? He seems very upset that I hit him. To the point where he's just walking away, so whatever. Maybe he just wants to fish. We'll, we'll leave him to fish. And we're going to take our new friend here and introduce him to our village. I know it's not much, but it's home. And you are welcome here now. Welcome home, Fred. Welcome home. Welcome home, Fred. One day I'll get you home, I promise. Right now it's too dangerous. Alright, so we got Fred. Did these... They didn't drop anymore. Okay. We came really close to getting another tree. Actually, no, we did get another tree. Ooh. One, two, three. There we go. Yay, all the trees. And Fred's here now. Ah, this place is coming along quite nicely. So nice. We have a new banner that we have to hang up now. Hmm. Where are we going to put these banners at? I'll put this one in my house for now. Uh, once we get some more banners, we'll start figuring out where to put them. Maybe I'll build like a field of sorrows or something. Just a filled with flowers and banners of the people who've tried to kill me. Hello, doges. It's time for banner number two. Ominous banner. Dun, 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 dun. And we have a dark oak boat now. We just put the boat in the water. The boat can go in this side of the water. And we have a lot of wood. But unfortunately, not the right kind, because all of this is spruce, and all of this is dark oak. But we do have a lot of wood. And some string. And some dirt. And some other miscellaneous items that I don't really care about. Um, seeds. So let's spend a little bit of time organizing. Why do I have dirt in my organized drawer? Dirt can go up here for now. Spider eye. I'm pretty sure I have some spider eyes in here. Some magma cream. Don't have room for that, but I have room for that. I have spruce. Do I have spruce saplings? I do. Let's plant some spruce saplings. More pillagers. Are you kidding me? I had to say one thing in the beginning of this video about only seeing them once, and now they're all over the place. They're just like, hello, you called. Yes. Thankfully, though, they're not really that bad. What 
cause the pillagers to be evil. I want to take a vote on why they're so mean. There we go. We have enough enough trees planted here now, and we're going to go deal with our pillager infestation. <clears throat> and we'll get our third ominous banner. Is it because there's a portal over here now? Is that what they were waiting for? Portals to show up? Or are they heading somewhere? Hey. Why are you going to run at me, dude? I did nothing to you. Shh. They don't know that one of theirs has died. There's the pillager captain. There's one of his lackeys. Hello. Sir, do you have time to talk about my lord and savior, Cthulhu? Hello? You don't speak English. What do you mean you don't speak English? Ah, there we go. Ow. How did that not kill you? That an arrow to your forehead. Where's your last guy at? Where is he? None of them have dropped a crossbow, and I'm kind of upset about it. Where'd the pillager captain go? Is he running? He knows what's going to happen to him. Don't let me find you. I'm going to collect your banner and put it next to your other two brothers. Where'd you go? Were you on your way to raid my little village over there? Hello? Sir Pillager, there's some more bees over there. Are you hiding? Did you fall in my pit? Did he fall in the mine? That'd be really funny. I don't know where the Pillager captain went. Disappointing. I wanted another banner to add to my collection. Huh. You would think he would have followed his guys. But he didn't. Oh well, an apple a day keeps the pillagers away. I'm still going to look for him, though. I haven't really been over here too much in this general direction. I think next episode we just take some supplies and go exploring, exploring. I still can't find this pillager anywhere. Where was he? Did I kill him? Did not kill him. He has to be trapped in the trees or something. It's kind of thick right there. I don't even hear him anymore either, though. There's a chimkin over there. He was on this side of the trees. Maybe he's somewhere over here. Pillager captain. Hello. Your friends didn't want to talk about my lord and savior Cthulhu. Do you? Hello. Sir. Sir. Sir, it's just rude to start a conversation and walk away with someone. Where are you? I will climb to the top of these trees and find you. Or I won't find you. I see a sheep over there. No pillager captains, though. Hmm. I'm going to be really upset if I walked past him and one of y'all pointed out. Like, really, really upset. My shield is almost broken, too. Hmm. Did you fall in the water with the sheep? Oh, that's a horse! Wait, I heard a skeleton. Where was the skeleton? Oh well. Whatever. We saved Fred. That's all that matters. Almost got another pillager banner. I don't know what happened to him. Hmm. Bizarre. Joke's on us. He's actually sitting in the house. He's just waiting for me. Let's cut down some more trees. So invigorating. The best Minecraft content involves chopping down trees, don't you know? 
I just need some more spruce for my house. And then some more birch. I also need some spruce for the first villager houses that I'm going to make. Because that's the easiest way to get diamonds, is just to level up villagers. Eh. Replant the forest. Be green. I just realized, though, that I have eternal exile on, which means as soon as I start bringing villagers here, or somehow getting them here without triggering... Eventually it'll go away. I know it's a status effect. It will go away on its own eventually. I think. Maybe. Who knows? I don't know. I'll look it up later. Makes for good content if I accidentally trigger a raid, though. I think the only thing that would really bug me is the vexes. Vexes are no fun. Do I have any baby trees yet? No. Okay. It is day 49, though, which means we're going into day 50. We have pretty much made it halfway there. We're going to work a little bit at night. Some stuff set up for the house. Make a new pickaxe. Or two. Put the diamond one back. There we go. And probably make a new axe. Because this one's about to break too. Oh wait, I already have a new axe. Never mind. We're going to forget that I ever said that. Because I have this one. There we go. And we're going to work a little bit, because we don't have too many spruce logs, but we have enough for a little bit right here. And I'll see y'all once I run out of wood, or the next day starts, or whatever comes first. Alright guys, we're back. It's day 50, and we have a kitchen now. And now we have a place to put all of our foods. Which means I can break at least one of our storage containers here. And start moving stuff over. And what we'll do... bread in this first one. Uh, no point in having raw steak now that we have smokers. So let's put the steak over there. Pick up some of these other shenanigans. So that's bread, so we have enough bread. Um, sweet berries. We'll do sweet berries under the bread. That makes sense. Kind of. We can do fruits, at least. Just have a jumble of fruits. Sweet berries, apples, things like that. Golden apple. That's a very important item. Um, pumpkin's a fruit? Kind of? Sure. We'll put pumpkin in here for now. Till later. Uh, let's grab everything else. More sweet berries, more apples, more wheat. Need fish. Fish can go in the next one over here, I guess. Got actual apples now. We have that steak that cooked ridiculously fast can go right here. <clears throat> what else do we have to sort? Wheat and more sweet berries. That's a pretty easy sorting mechanism, but at least it gives us some more room to store stuff. So let's see. Oh, we do have raw salmon. We'll put the salmon over here. We can put the rotten potatoes over here because I don't really harvest my potatoes that much. Uh, the wheat's going to go up here with the bread. And then I think all that's left is these sweet berries. Which go in the fruit category. Or in the berry drawer. I don't know what to call it. There we go. Food is kind of organized now. And we'll just put these flowers and other miscellaneous stuff over here for now. Um, lots of rotten flesh. I guess the rotten flesh can be considered a food. We'll put the rotten flesh along with the poisonous potato and the spider eyes and the bone. This is going to be our witch's area. So lots of not very good things for you in this side. And then this side's going to be our smelting area, maybe. I'm tempted to make another super smelter. Maybe put it over here or make this just a storage area or crafting area. But I, I did away with the step down. I feel like it was a little too much. And it just required too much work. I hear pillagers. I hear them. I know y'all hear them too. You know what this means. 
We don't tolerate people invading our property. Oh, pumpkin seeds can get put up. Um, bone meal. Let's put the iron where it's supposed to go. Uh, we don't really cook with magma cream. I feel like it wouldn't taste too good. Let's put all of this stuff up where it needs to go. Yeah, those pillagers sound really close, too. I wonder if they're angry. Now that I've started killing a few of them, I wonder if they're going to start getting more upset with me and showing up more often. Let's grab some steak. We can do like half. Let's cook the salmon. Can a smoker cook salmon? Stupid question. Yes, it can. Smoke salmon. Oh! Hi, guys. Are you back? Back for revenge, huh? One time wasn't enough. Oh, I need a new shield. This one's about to break. Never mind. One second. Yeah. How does one build a shield? I need iron for that. They're trying. I give them that. They are tr That one killed himself. One of them just fell off the roof of my building. That's pretty good. Uh, let's see. We'll replace this shield. Hi, guys. That'd be really funny if I could just smack them right here. Unnecessary violence. But everybody on this channel does love senseless violence, don't we? I just got you to kill two of your own people. He has to die. Now you all have to die. Guess who's left? Blee. It's a very nice noise they make. Wait, this one didn't drop me a banner. Why no banner? Now I'm sad. I wanted a banner. All these arrows and no banner. I wanted a third one. Oh well. Glad to see our forest came in nicely. That's a pretty nice feature. And I feel like it's well lit up enough to keep things from spawning. But just in case something gets froggy, we're going to put some more torches down. What was it? One, two, three, four. I think it was like five between them. I don't really remember. One, two, three, four. No, it was four between them, and they are five apart. Okay, so it goes like that. Then it go like that. And then there's one right there, so I'm not too worried about that. And then you come over here, and you just kind of line them up, mostly. I'm very much a grid-oriented person. So things, I like things to be in line with other things. That makes sense. One, two, three, four, five. Then one, and one. Okay, good enough for now, because that's going to be near the end of day 50. We can work through the night a little bit, though. I'm going to harvest our wheat, and then we're going to harvest some leather. Oh, this is so satisfying. Epilepsy warning for those that are uh, flashing lights and or quick movements. Probably not the best thing to watch. And now we replant and let it grow again. Then we breed the cows. And then we kill them. Such is life. But hey, at least we're halfway through the playthrough. For now. We'll probably do another... Yeah, I'm just going to keep going in this world till I die, so... There's definitely, if I make it to 100 days, going to be another 100 days added on. And then from there, it'll be another few hundred days, and then maybe we'll make it to 1,000 days. Who knows? Maybe this will be my new long-going series. It's just my hardcore Minecraft world. Until I finally die. But, if y'all make it that far, and if we make it that far, 
then maybe I'll start taking some more suggestions other than naming things for y'all. I feel like if I get more than 100 days in and I kill the dragon, I'm going to get bored, so I'm going to need some projects. That's the wrong thing. There we go. Should probably harvest my potatoes, too. I don't think I've ever harvested the potatoes except to make the field more full. So we're going to harvest the potatoes next. So many potatoes. We can be Irishmen. Mm. Or we can make vodka. Either one of these is good solutions. Alright, let's collect everything. There's one piece of... Of course there is. Why is there dirt over here? I know why. Endermen. Those bastards. They've been on my property again. Actually, I hear an Enderman right now. These Endermen are going to be the death of me one day, too, though. So, Put that there. Do that. Do that. And get a new hoe. We go hoe the ground down. Then we plant. We plant more potatoes. And we smoke the potatoes. The smoker work on potatoes. I guess we're going to find that out, too. Can you get gold-covered potatoes? We make god potatoes. That's what we're going to do. We're going to make god potatoes. They have god apples. Now we're going to have god potatoes. We're going to cover them in gold. Perfect. Beautiful. Now we do this, and we breed some animals. I don't really need any more sheep. But the cows... Hello! Yes. Make the children. Come here. There's a thing where if you take carpet... Oh, I can't. I'd have to kill one of you. Hmm. Shame. There's more white than anything. There we go. You can take this, make carpet out of it. How do you make carpet? Do you need two of them? How did you survive? There we go. Can you make carpet out of two? There we go. You make carpet, and you put it on the corner, like that, and you can just jump up on it. Which makes it easy for me to get inside of my things without them getting out of them. Because they can't jump up on them for some reason. I don't know. Weird mechanic in the game. Um, goodbye. Goodbye. Don't look at me. You know this has to be done. Okay. Well, now that that's done, we have five leather. That's enough for three books, which is enough for one more bookshelf. I think I have one book already, so maybe one more, two more bookshelves. Ow. Those stupid prickly berries, I swear. Let's see. Do I have a book? I do have one book. Do I have a paper? Do I need to harvest more paper? Paper? I don't see paper. Cool. So we need to harvest some of our sugar cane, too. Which is no big deal. Just run on over here. And we're going to harvest... Oh, the sugar cane. Perfect. I got all the sugar cane. That's a skelly boy. I don't want to deal with you. Not that you're that much of a threat to me now, but still not my favorite thing to deal with. Alright, so we're going to make some paper. That's not how you spell paper. We've got 42 paper. Now we're going to make books. We can make five. That makes six, which means we can now make bookshelves here in a second. After we make some uh, doge, we can make two bookshelf. Which means we can finish that and that, which means maybe we can get enchantment. Efficiency one, unbreaking one, efficiency one. What about the diamond pickaxe? 
Can we get efficiency, unbreaking, efficiency? Nothing that we need just yet. We need mending, is what we need, so we can keep our diamond tools nice and healthy with experience points instead of using more diamonds. But that is the end of day 50. We have full diamond armor. We almost have an enchanting room. We've been to the nether, and it is stupid. And we have killed a few pillagers. So thank you all for joining, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.